welcome to another episode of The Navy Nurse. I want to thank all of you for tuning into my channel. It means a lot that you're subscribing, that you're asking me questions, that you're leaving me comments. So thank you for all of that. In this episode, I want to talk to you about what exactly you're going to be wearing as a Navy nurse. So first thing I want to say is I've been in the military now in the Navy for a total of 15 years. So that's enlisted time um, plus the officer time. And I will say that the Navy in particular has a lot of uniforms and they tend to go through a lot of uniform changes because, you know, they take uh, comments from the, the sailors serving in the Navy and they uh, want to improve on the uniforms. So it's both a good and bad thing. There's uniforms that we've had that I haven't really liked and then there's uniforms that I have liked. So just know that if you join the Navy, you are going to have to spend money to buy your uniforms. Uh, the enlisted, they get a stipend every year to buy new uniforms. Officers, however, uh, we have to come out of pocket to buy our own uniforms. The only time that the Navy gives us uh, money to buy our uniforms is when we first get in. Um, just to fill your whole seat back up with the uh, needed uniforms. But other than that, we have to buy all of our uniform items. That's blouses, trousers, boots, uh, boot bands, any belts, uh, anything that goes with the uniform, patches, everything. So um, I'm not going to go through every single Navy uniform that we have. I'm just going to go over what you're probably going to be wearing as a new Navy nurse uh, working on the floors and, and just uh, your day-to-day -day kind of uniforms. So what I'm wearing right now, this is the newest uniform. Um, it's phasing out the old working uniform. So this is called the Navy Working Uniform Type 3. And um, the other Navy working uniform will be phased out or no longer, um, you're no longer going to be able to wear it by October. So next month of 2019, this year. So this uniform is considered a working uniform. You will wear it if you're not working on the floor. I will say, however, that at my first duty station, I wore the Navy working uniform, the one that I'll show you that it phased out in a few seconds. Um, I wore that on the floor, not scrubs. So the one I'm talking about is this uniform right here. Some of you, if you've Googled Navy things, will see uh, that, you know, the officers are wearing this. So this is no longer going to be able, you're no longer going to be able to wear this by next month. This is the Navy working uniform type one. So uh, you'll see here, this leaf here, this is what signifies that you're a nurse in the nurse corps. And then on your other collar, you will have the your rank. So this is an O3 lieutenant in the Navy. And then you'll have your last name and then uh, US Navy. These devices here, these are warfare devices. So uh, this is a fleet, uh, sorry, fleet Marine Force um, pin. And then this is an enlisted service warfare pin. So I earned these when I was a corpsman, when I was enlisted. If you go with the Marines or if you go uh, with on a ship, you can earn these type of warfare devices. Uh, it's just a different color. It'll be gold, the same color as this stitching here, if you earn it as an officer. So um, like I said, this is phased out. This uniform here is what I used to wear on a med surge floor working at Walter Reed. I wore it for three years, um, along with the steel toe boots that it came with. Um, it was horrible. I don't think that military nurses should have to wear this while on the floor because there's all kinds of things like your feet hurt at the end of the day, there's infection control issues. However, 
that was the rules at our hospital and i know that's the rules at a lot of the naval hospitals um, so just know that as a brand new nurse you might have to be wearing uh, this uniform now when you're caring for patients um, if you're at an, a hospital that is you're lucky enough to wear scrubs then you will wear scrubs uh, with scrubs you can't wear like multicolor scrubs or cute little images on it it's going to be a solid color and um, every naval hospital that i've been to the hospital provides you with the scrubs so it's something like you will get your scrubs there and then you put it in the linen and you never take it home the linen services at the hospital clean them for you uh, this particular uniform here um, I like it better. It's more comfortable than the uh, type one that I just showed you. Um, and the boots, you have a, a, a choice whether you want steel toe or not. So there's a ton of choices on the boots that you can get. I chose these because they're not steel toe and they are super, super comfy to wear. Um, but you can look at the naval instruction, the uniform instruction, and it will tell you exactly what type of boots you're, author you're authorized to purchase to wear with this uniform. Um, I'll talk about this uniform. So same thing, you have your last name here, and then you have the US Navy stitching here. Um, instead of on the collars, you have your rank right here and this uniform it doesn't delineate whether you're nurse corps whether you're uh, a lawyer a medical service officer it just shows the rank and then here it has the warfare devices if you have them um, and then on here on the sleeves part these are actually velcro like you take these on and off this is actually a part of the uniform that i don't like because when you wash it a lot the velcro starts to lose its integrity and then these just start to fall off so that's one thing I don't like I think I wish it was just sewn sewn on um, but anyway you have the American flag here on the right arm and then you have the don't tread on me flag um, on the left arm the reason my sleeves are rolled up right now is it's because it's authorized during the summer during the hotter months um, in the winter you can wear sleeves all the way down um, uh, there's a ton of youtube videos on how to roll your sleeves maybe i'll do one uh, just to show you how i do it um, but there is a certain way that you have to roll your sleeves uh, within navy regulations um, the trousers they're just pants uh, they look like this and then you wear a belt um, underneath so that's uh, the Navy working uniform so I will say right now working on the ICU I don't wear this when I'm caring for patients I am wearing scrubs here at Naval Hospital Okinawa the ICU we have to wear uh, it's a green color scrub like solid like light green the hospital gives it to us and then we keep it there they wash it kind of thing so um, if I'm going in though like let's say I'm not working it's my day off and uh, there's uh, official Navy business like for instance um, you have to go sign your fit rep or you have a meeting or um, I today I taught a basic life support class so I'm not showing up in my scrubs I'm showing up in the uniform of the day the Navy working uniform um, that kind of thing it's just you know uh, a Navy uniform thing it, it doesn't really look good if you're teaching in scrubs you know it's more professional if you're wearing your navy working uniform for official type of business um there are other uniforms like the khakis i'm not going to show you that right now but that kind of thing i know at a lot of hospitals monday through thursday you'll wear this and then on friday anyone who's working in the administration type of uh, billets or offices they'll wear the khakis on Fridays so uh, there's different types of uniforms if you guys want me to do a video on like all the Navy uniforms that you'll have 
I could do it, but I just wanted to show you really what you're most likely gonna be wearing all the time. This is the uniform that I wear. Um, there's the whites, there's the dress whites, there are the uh, khakis that I just talked about, and then there's the dress blues, those kind of things you're gonna wear for ceremonies, when you're officially checking into a new command, that kind of thing. So I hope that gives you a little bit of idea. Oh, I forgot to show you the cover. Oh, the cover's right behind me. <laughs> so in the Navy, we don't call these hats or caps. We call it a cover. And you wear it just like this. They don't want it like on your head like a ball cap. You have to have the points up and then right covering your forehead just like that. So this is a cover in Navy speak. <laughs> anyway, I hope that gives you a little bit of insight into what you'll be wearing as a Navy nurse. Please leave me your comments, your questions, your suggestions. I love hearing what you want to know about and um, I will keep the videos coming. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.